What's going on, guys? I'm Rob Salutely. There's going to be a lot of Ninja 400 fans that are not going to like this video. And I'm not going to say anything negative about the Ninja 400, but I think for the price, the overall tech and quality of the CF Moto 450 SS kind of blows the Ninja out of the water. So I'm going to start by showing you my CF Moto 450 SS and show you some of the features that I really like about it. I love that the turn signals are integrated into the mirrors. I think it looks cool. They adjust really easily. They're much better than what you're going to find on other sport bikes especially in the class. I love the design of the winglets. I think it looks awesome. It makes the bike look very aggressive. CF Moto put Brembo brakes on the 450 SS, which is pretty awesome because they're amazing brakes. They feel really good. I also like that they took the reflectors and kind of integrated that into a little bit of a more modern design than those little uh, twist on reflectors we've been seeing since the, I don't know, decades and decades of those little cheap reflectors. CF Moto makes them look a little bit better. The wheel design is really nice on here. Here's another view of the winglet. It looks really good. They've also put, I guess people are saying that they are crash protection frame sliders. I don't really think that's what they are. I think that they're designed so that you can buy an aftermarket frame slider to put in there because that's not going to save you from too much, but it looks pretty cool. The engine is a 450cc engine, obviously. That's why it is a CF Moto 450 SS. You can check out the rear wheel here. Come around to the gauges, the technology, and the visibility of these gauges is awesome. They're very easy to read, and coming standard with the technology on this bike is Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone uh, to answer calls that way. As, if you have Bluetooth in your helmet anyway, you can control your music that way. You can get turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and these are options you don't really see on smaller bikes like this. I've already done a few things as far as changing some things. The stripe here on the bottom I took off on the other side. I will be taking this one off. The reason I want to do that is I think CF Moto could have done a better job. See how it gets cut off right there? To me, it looks like an afterthought. Um, so I'm just going to peel that stripe off. Show you what I did on the other side so you can see what I'm going to do. So you can see on this side, I already took it off. I don't think it takes away from the bike at all to take that off and it looks more complete. Basically, this video is really not to rip on the Ninja 400. I just know that a lot of people are looking for comparisons between the CF Moto 450 SS and the Ninja 400. And obviously, since I bought the CF Moto 450 SS, I think it's probably justified that I do a video and tell you guys why I think it is a better bike. Um, and if you want to rip on me, maybe you have a Ninja and you want to rip on me and pick on me a little bit, I can take it. So leave a comment below and let me know uh, why you like your Ninja better than the 450 SS. But honestly, if you're considering the two bikes and you're on the fence about the CF Moto, um, you don't have to be. Reliability is great. CF Moto and KTM are joined now, so reliability on both those brands is pretty good. So just a quick walk around video here to tell you guys about my CF Moto 450 SS rip on some of you Ninja 400 riders because there's a ton of you out there. And again, I think the 400 is a great bike. Um, I think the Yamaha R3 is a great bike. It just has a smaller engine. Yamaha R3, terrific quality, great bike. I think the CF Moto 300 SS, the smaller version of this is an amazing bike too. Just a much smaller engine. KTM RC390 that I had before this was a great bike. I just like the fit of this bike better. So let me know what you guys think by leaving a comment below. Tell me whether you like this bike better than the Ninja 400 or whether you like the 400 better. Tell me what your thoughts are on both bikes. And if there's anything else out there that you think might be better or worse than this, let me know. And thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.